Welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I showed you how you can install the latest version of Linux Ubuntu on your system alongside Windows and then use either OS through dual boot. Today, I'm going to tell you how you can resolve the slowness issue in Windows 11 on your system by following just a few simple steps. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Welcome to my channel, Technicio. First of all, I want to let everyone know that you can now watch my videos in your own language. That means if you have difficulty understanding the video, you can choose your preferred language from the audio track and watch the video with ease. Now I'll show you the performance of my system in idle condition, how much RAM and CPU percentage it's using. To do this, I'll right click on the taskbar and open task manager. Then I'll go to the performance tab where you can see that even in idle condition, my system is using 42% of RAM even though I haven't opened anything after starting the system. So I'll guide you through a few steps that you can follow to resolve the slowness issue on your system. First step, memory integrity. We'll disable it because it keeps running in the background, which can slow down the system. For this, we'll type Windows Security in the search bar and open it. Then we'll go to Device Security and open Core Isolation Details. Here, the first option we'll see is memory integrity. Once we disable it, the system will ask for a restart to apply the changes, so we'll restart the system. Second step, system configuration. Now we'll disable unnecessary services through system configuration. To do this, we'll search for system configuration and open it. Under the general tab, you'll see boot options, but we won't make any changes here because once we disable unnecessary services, it will automatically switch to selective startup. Next, we'll go to the Services tab and check the box that says Hide All Microsoft Services. This will show us all the services that are not from Microsoft, meaning those that aren't essential for Windows boot, such as third-party software services. I'll disable all of these, click Apply, and then OK. To apply these changes, we'll need to restart the system. So I'll restart my PC. As you can see, my system boots perfectly even after disabling these services. Third step transparency effect. The next step is to disable the transparency effect, which can significantly improve system performance. To do this, we'll go to settings, then personalization, and then colors, and then turn off the transparency effects option. Fourth step, notifications. Next, we'll open system settings from the same menu and go to the notifications tab. Here, we'll disable all notifications. Since notifications are turned off, do not disturb also becomes unnecessary, so we'll disable that as well. Notifications cause the system to constantly check for new alerts, increasing unnecessary background usage and slowing down performance. Fifth step, storage sense. Next, we'll go back to system settings and select storage settings. Here we'll disable storage sense. The purpose of storage sense is to automatically free up space by detecting and deleting temporary files. However, this constant background operation can increase system usage and slow down performance. That's why we'll disable this feature. Sixth step, disk cleanup. Next, we'll perform a disk cleanup to remove all unnecessary files from the system. To do this, we'll type disk cleanup in the search bar and open the tool. Here, we'll need to select the drive we want to clean. Since most temporary files are stored in the C drive, I'll select that and click OK. In the Files to Delete section, I'll check all the options and click OK. A confirmation prompt will appear asking if I want to permanently delete these files. I'll click Delete Files and the tool will remove all unnecessary files from the system. This will help free up space and improve overall system performance. Seventh step, Installed Apps. Now we'll go to Settings, then Apps, then Installed Apps to check for any unnecessary applications. For example, I have Translucent TB installed, which is just for appearance but increases system resource usage. I'll uninstall it. Similarly, you should uninstall any non-essential apps from your system to improve performance. Eighth step, Old Windows Update Files. Next, we'll delete old downloaded Windows Update Files. To do this, open this PC and go to C Drive. Navigate to the Windows folder and find the Software Distribution folder. Open it. Select all files by pressing Ctrl A and permanently delete them through Shift Delete key. Since these are system files, admin rights are required. Click Continue when prompted. If some files can't be deleted, simply skip them. This will remove all old Windows Update files, freeing up space and improving system efficiency. 
Ninth step, temporary files. Now, we'll manually delete all temporary files from our system. First, press Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box. Then enter the command percent temp percent. This will open all temporary files associated with your user account. Select all files and permanently delete them using Shift plus Delete. Next, in the Run dialog, type temp. This will take you to Windows temporary files. Again, select all and delete them permanently. Next, enter the command prefetch in the Run dialog. This will show prefetched files, which store startup program data to help them load faster. Since we'll disable unnecessary startup apps later, we can safely delete these files as well. Finally, type recent in the Run dialog to delete collected data of recently opened files. Tenth step, Windows animations. Next, we'll optimize Windows animations for the best performance. Go to Settings, then System, then About. Then click Advanced System Settings. Under the Performance section, click Settings. Here, you'll find all animation-related options. Select Adjust for Best Performance. Then click Apply and OK to save changes. This will disable unnecessary visual effects and improve system responsiveness. Eleventh step, Power Settings. Next, we'll modify the power settings and configure them for maximum performance. To do this, go to Settings, then System, then Power and Battery. Here, we'll set both options, Power Mode for Plugged In and On Battery to Best Performance Mode. This ensures your system runs at peak efficiency, whether connected to power or running on battery. Twelfth step, Hyper-V and Virtualization. Now, we'll disable the Hyper-V virtualization feature if it's currently enabled as it can impact system performance. To check this, type Windows Features in the search bar and open Turn Windows Features On or Off. In the list, look for Hyper-V. On my system, it's already disabled, but if yours is enabled, uncheck it and disable the feature. This helps improve overall system responsiveness by freeing up resources used for virtualization. Thirteenth step, app permissions. Next, we'll disable unnecessary app permissions that run in the background such as location tracking. Go to Settings, then Privacy and Security, where you'll find a list of app permissions at the bottom. Here you can turn off any permissions you don't need. For example, I'll disable location access to prevent any apps from tracking my location in the background. Fourteenth step, Startup Apps. For our final step, we'll disable all unnecessary startup apps that automatically run in the background. Open Task Manager and switch to the Startup tab to see the list of apps that launch at boot. Disable any apps you don't use regularly. For instance, I don't use Microsoft Edge, which shows high impact. So I'll disable it, along with mobile devices and phone link. And with that, our process is complete. By following these 14 steps, you can significantly improve your system's performance. When you restart your PC, you'll immediately notice lower system usage and smoother performance. In my next video, I'll introduce you to a modified version of Windows 11 that uses half the resources of the original Windows, consuming less RAM, CPU, and overall system power, while still being fully functional, Windows 11. So don't miss my next video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Technicio, and hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss an update from our channel. Together, let's end tech tantrums. Thank you.